Hi guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome back to more Skyrim console mod videos. Now I've had a good week off from making mod videos, I guess I just needed a break from all of it for a while, but I'm back to making them with some changes. I can't, since there aren't enough mods each day to make a consistent new mod video every day, so I'm going to be uploading a Skyrim and a Fallout 4 mod video each day, and they will be split into new mods, upcoming mods, top 10 mods, and top 5 mods as well. I've already made a top 10 PS4 mods video before, it'll be kind of similar style to that one. We are of course still waiting for the script extender to come out, and that will most likely bring more mods out to consoles, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens when that does release. Anyway, we have 20 mods to look at today, so let's start with the top 10 PS4 and Xbox One mods for Skyrim. I want to mention also these are not in a specific order other than PS4 followed by Xbox One. Number 10, Water and Terrain Enhancement. This mod aims to edit all the water and the ground or terrain in the water of Skyrim to make it look much better. Every river, pond and lake, even the ocean has been altered. The mod alters not only the transparency of the different waters, but also adds in wave animations and edits flows to make each of the different water sources more natural and realistic. Number 9, the unofficial Skyrim patch. This is a mod that pretty much everyone has used or is using, and it's had over 30 million views for the Xbox version alone, so that tells you its popularity. The mod is even essential for loads of other mods to work, so it's a very useful thing to install. The mod features hundreds of gameplay quests, NPC, object, item, text, and placement bug fixes, has no unsafe changes, and it's designed to be compatible with as many other mods as possible. Number 8, Lampposts of Skyrim. This mod tries to make the game more realistic and immersive by adding in loads of new lampposts to the roads of Skyrim. As the only means of traveling the game, the roads of the game are surprisingly dark at night and so dangerous to travel. This mod adds in over 250 additional new lampposts to the roads across the map to help light the way at night. All major roads have new lampposts added, some of the lesser roads have had lampposts added where there were none before. Number 7, Cheat Room. The cheat room is a single room that contains chests with pretty much all the stuff you can think of in the game. All weapons and armors, enchanted and non-enchanted versions, any item, miscellaneous item, food, component, scrap or anything else you can think of are found here. The room does have other features as well though. You can level up any skill, you can add to your character any magic spell, shout or effect. You can change your race and character's appearance, edit your height, duplicate items, give yourself dragon souls, find any key in the game and the list goes on. Number 6, Dovahkiin Keep. Dovahkiin Keep adds to Skyrim a large castle player home for you to live in. The large castle comes with all the features that you need in a player home like bedrooms, space for followers and kids, a living room, dining area, full crafting and smithing areas. The castle also comes with 100 mannequins, weapon racks and shield racks, as well as over 90 bookshelves so you can store your weapons, armors and books that you gather from your travels around the game. The castle is big, has lots of detail and makes an awesome player home. Number 5, Alternate Start, a mod that allows you to start the game off differently than the vanilla game. Live Another Life provides an alternate means to start the game for those who do not wish to go through the lengthy intro sequence at Helgen. You will also be given the opportunity to choose your race and then choose a new life for your character to lead. A wide variety of choices will be available for you as well. What you choose will have a lasting impact, so choose carefully or the gods may forsake you again. Number 4 is Marriage All. The mod makes it so nearly all male and female NPCs in the game are already in love with you so that you can marry anyone straight from the start of the game. You will still have to do the marriage quest and must have the Amulet of Mana in order for it to work, and you can still only marry one person at a time. Number 3, Skyrim Graphic Overhaul. The mod aims to take as many of the items in game, big and small, and replace them with better quality textures to improve the overall visuals of the game. It does this by taking the best graphic overhauls for individual things in Skyrim and combining them all into one mod. The mod covers tons of cool stuff and includes plants and grasses, furniture, clutter, animal and certain creatures, better circlets and rings, wheel candle effects, smoke, ice glaciers, torches, white run enhanced textures, wood and trees, firewood, baskets, urns, alchemy tables, ores, ingots, smelters, cobwebs, snowflakes, chess books and more. Number 2, The Magical College of Winterhold. The Magical College of Winterhold is an overhaul aimed at giving the college a professional enchanted look. Some rooms are slightly changed, some are changed dramatically. The mod adds new room decorations, a new player room, loads more magical decorations, a better enchanting and alchemy area, scroll crafting station, far better looking archmage's quarters. All the rooms basically have much less clutter, but have more magical decor. Number 1 is Sophia. Now I know what you're thinking, fuck Sophia, Indigo is way better. Well don't worry, there are plenty of other videos to come with space for all the other big follower mods. Sophia however has the most likes, favourites and views for any of the follower mods. 
Sophia is a fully voiced and immersive follower. She has hundreds of cool features like horse riding, singing, she can teleport to player and she handles herself well in a fight. She is also malleable. Her best feature is probably her dialogue. She is location and quest aware and comments on things that you are currently doing or mentions things about where you are, so that interaction makes her very immersive. Other than this she has quirky and abrasive personality which makes her fun to have around and I guess which is why she is so popular. Well guys there we have it our top 10 PS4 and Xbox One mods for Skyrim. Nothing surprising there as pretty much everyone has heard of those mods but we will cover less obvious mods as we go on. I want to thank all of you for watching and I'll be back again soon with more Skyrim videos. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest releases click on the subscription button on the screen or if you haven't done so yet click on the link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest content including console mods, guides and news every single day. Turn on notifications, the little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well if you want to. With all that being said guys, until next time, stay awesome and I will see you all in the next video.